So we're here with Todd Matheson near Emmitsburg, Iowa. Yes. We've been talking today about the potential for harvesting cobs for cellulosic ethanol production. Mm -hmm. So Todd, tell me as a farmer, what, what gets you excited about this, this potential new market? Uh, well, we're all revenue driven, so I mean the potential to uh, hopefully gross more dollars per acre and uh, yeah, have a cob that's basically a waste material in the field, has really no fertilizer value to speak of, and to turn that into a natural energy, I think that's kind of exciting. We talked earlier about what uh, market price it might take, and right now uh, the ethanol companies out there are saying between 30 to $60 is it per ton. Mm -hmm. Yes, per ton for, of cobs, yep. Okay, mm -hmm. for cobs. Um, you know, to cover your costs for, for machinery, is, is that enough for you or would you like to see it a little bit higher? I know we talked about it maybe following the price of corn. Can what do, what do you think? Well, I think it needs to be a little bit higher than that and I hope that the market will stand a higher price. I think that uh, for farmers to get excited, I mean, they have to be able to see profit. And so, uh, definitely would need to be at the upper end of that range and then hopefully a little higher than that. Uh, maybe some government incentives might get it to where it becomes more profitable. Good. You know, one of the concerns by a lot of farmers is the issue with labor in harvesting cobs. It seems like uh, the CCM process might help with not having to have an extra person on hand. Uh, maybe, maybe not. What You know, another method is the, the cob caddy. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Can you explain what you know about that? Cob caddies are generally uh, just a device that's uh, pulled behind the combine. Mm -hmm. You would remove the straw chopper, I think, and then it would basically separate the husk and the cob. Mm -hmm. It would Then the cob caddy would blow the husk onto the ground and the cobs would be kept in a holding tank. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times they have uh, dump devices like you see for collecting silage and things like that. You'd bring a wagon up alongside and it would dump the cobs into another catch cart or um, <clears throat> possibly, you know, they would have a a conveyor system or something to offload the cobs and and then you know when you pull up one time you catch corn and you know the, then if you had a separate device for catching cobs the next time you'd pull up you'd catch the cobs and hopefully then the combine would still be a non-stop operation you wouldn't have to stop and unload cobs and and you know <clears throat> that too you know is still being perfected but I think they're going to come with a method that's that's reliable and something that we can all live with. Sure. Now, there is a POET plant already here in Emmitsburg, Iowa. I know you're a shareholder in that plant, but can you talk a little bit about what that plant has meant to your local community? Uh, POET does a good job. They put up a plant and they hire good people and they bring in good people. Um, they're definitely an asset to any community. And, uh, you know, it's narrowed our basis on corn probably in the far out months, I would say 15 to 20 cents. And they do kind of set the market. Um, it's nice having an end user in town with some size to it and, and uh, yeah, it's just been a nice economic boom for our community having them around.